Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to briefly discuss the installation of the Monogame Content Builder tool. In the last video we installed the Monogame templates for the Monogame projects. Along with that, the Monogame Content Builder tool should have been installed as well. If that didn't get installed for you, we want to make sure that it gets installed. Let's open up our project. Uh, there's the one we had from last time. Now you can tell if the content builder tool has been installed. Uh, first of all, you're going to open up the file path to the content over here on the, in your projects. And down here you have the actual content file. And it's called content.mgcb, and that stands for Monogame Content Builder. If you don't see this Monogame icon, then you probably don't have it installed. But let's go ahead and right click. We're going to say open with and you should see a monogame pipeline tool and I've got mine set as default you may have to scroll down to find it and then highlight it I set mine as default if you have it installed that'll show up just like that you can click OK there's the monogame pipeline tool from there if you have this you can skip the rest of this video and just move on to the next one if not we're gonna go through the process of making sure that gets installed the way you install the tool if it's not installed already we're going to head over to the monogame.net website, click on documentation. Over here we have tools, and then we have the MGCB editor, click that one. And down here it has instructions for installing the tool. And we're going to go ahead, right here it says in a command prompt terminal window run the following command to install the editor. Now I believe you could do this through the command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and open PowerShell and let's go ahead and split the window here so I can see both of them. We're just going to type the instructions just like listed here. So in PowerShell, you're just gonna type this in just like this. In fact, we could probably just copy this and then come over here and paste it in just like that. You'll hit enter on that, it'll execute, it'll install the editor for you. And then once you're done with that, come down here, you'll copy this because we'll need to register the editor as the default app for MGCB files. And that's what this does over here. So once we have that, go ahead and paste that in as well. You'll run that, that'll register it. Now once it's registered, we should be able to restart Visual Studio. Let's open up the app we have. Over here, your content.mgcb should have the correct icon now for Monogame. When you right click on it, we'll go to open with, and you'll, you'll either see this, like it's listed here, mine says Monogame Pipeline Tool, or you'll, you might get an image that looks like this, the MGCB Editor WPF. I think if you install it through PowerShell like I was doing earlier, you're probably gonna see this instead of the one I'm showing up. But just set that as default, and you can click OK, and that would run the editor for you. 